Hey everybody, I'm Sean Hammond. We're the New York Amp Show with Andy here from Two Notes Engineering. How's it going, Andy? It's great. It's great to be here. Thanks for coming by. Good. Yeah. So tell us about the rack you've got here. This is something that's great for recording and studio um, for performance and just playing around at home, right? Well, this is a box that allows you to use any amplifier um, without a speaker cabinet. So what it's doing is loading the amplifier so the amplifier runs correctly, then emulating the speaker, the mic, and the miking technique. So we could use this to uh, record at 3 in the morning in an apartment with a baby sleeping, or to be on tour with a, a band where there's no amps on stage and everybody's on in-ears, or if you were in a recording studio and you're using uh, an upright bass and a grand piano that were mic'd and you had a Marshall that was going full blast right next to it, this will be the way to do it and have the isolation you need. Um, there's over 30 cabinets that are available and we introduce a new cabinet every month and there's uh, nine microphones and you control the placement and then there's some post-processing that you can do as well but there's no effects and unlike a pure modeling uh, processor you're using your amp you can use your pedals you can use the volume control your guitar you can switch pickups and you have all the sounds you're familiar with and and our main clientele are people that have invested in getting the sounds they have an old AC 30 30 with a range master booster or they've got some modern amp collection and they like the different tones they're getting and this product allows them to have the optimum sound without having uh, the problem that those amps are extremely loud and in a lot of professional and personal situations that is a little bit of a difficult situation so that's okay. how the box works okay so run it down it's a way cool idea but it's a little bit with all the different um, modeling type devices out there why don't you run down exactly what you would do if you bought this and took it home how you would how would you start? Really simple. You basically take your speaker, unplug the speaker, take the wire that was plugged into the speaker, and plug it into the back of the torpedo input. And then you take the outputs, and you could use it just with headphones right on the front panel, or you could go into Pro Tools or any other digital audio workstation, or into a Snake to use it for live. Um, so it's basically plug and play, and then you're able to uh, configure um, the different options that you want in terms of uh, cabinet choice, whether you want a 112, whether you want a 412. It does bass as well as guitar. There's uh, probably about a dozen bass cabinets as well, including the big 8x10 that we all love. Um, and you'd set it up, you know, probably to start, you'd set up something that would match with, with the amp you're using. So in this case, we're using an Elmwood, so probably a 412. And then we could choose, do we want a 412 that's slanted, or do we want it with uh, green backs or with vintage 30s? And there's different models of different cabinets. And then do I want a microphone that's a ribbon, modern ribbon microphone, or do I want a classic like an MSM57? And you'd find a, um, a microphone amp combination that suits, and then a little bit of the um, uh, placement to get the optimum sound. And, and you'll be ready to go. Okay, cool. So we've got John over here. We heard a little bit from earlier. He's going to show us more of what this thing can do. Do you want to do the backing track this time? Sure. Again, that sounded cool earlier. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, man, thanks for showing us how that sounds. It sounds really good. Now, I understand you guys have a stereo version coming out soon, is that right? Yes, we do. We have a version that's called the VM202, and what this version allows you to do is uh, run in stereo and do two separate modeling, so you could have a cabinet model for a bass player and a guitar player simultaneously, or a multi-model for a guitar player. Um, there are people using this product for Wurlitzers with snare drums and stuff like that. What it doesn't do, it doesn't have the load for the amplifier, so you'd use it either with reamp tracks or with a uh, preamplifier. Uh, and then it would have a parameter to emulate the power stage distortion of the tube amps. So again, it's, it's your tone, but um, you're um, using the um, modeling to finish the signal path. Um, this particular version, the, the 101, is the one that you use with a tube amplifier. So that's the big difference. All right, cool. Well, where can people go to find out more about both of these? It would be at tuneouts.com or our website, which is diffusion, D-I-F-F-U-S-I-O-N, hyphen audio.com and we have demos online and lots of information awesome. thanks Andy it was good to meet you Likewise. John thanks I'm Sean Hammond and you're watching premiereguitar.com <laughs>